So we said that yesterday was drunk in terms of all, all the crazy transactions, all the moves the Minnesota Fighting Vikings are making. But today, it's hair of the dog. They're back at it again. Uh, the Minnesota Fighting Vikings uh, have traded for Philadelphia Eagles wide receiver Jalen Rieger. Yes, that one taken ahead of Justin Friggin Jefferson. Uh, the compensation, Adam Schefter, go. Uh, trade, Eagles are sending Jalen Rieger to the uh, Vikings in exchange for a 2023 seventh round pick and a 2024 conditional fourth round pick that would de-escalate to a fifth round pick if certain statistical marks are not met. Sources tell ESPN, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so I, 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 people already complained. It's like, oh, it's too much trade uh, compensation. Uh, have you seen how many third round picks the Vikings cut yesterday or waived yesterday? Whatever. And I'll, also, it's funny that we're looking that far in the future. But uh, Jalen, I, I liked him a lot in the draft. And you can even go back uh, on the videos. I was very bullish on Jalen Rieger uh, at, uh, at the time when the Vikings uh, were drafting in the first round. I, I like Justin Jefferson a lot, uh, except I was worried that he was going to be a sl uh, slot exclusively. I was worried that he he wouldn't be able to get off of outside press coverage in the in NFL. Uh, also, I was not alone. In that, by the way, a lot of NFL draft analysts uh, really revising history when they're talking about Justin Jefferson. I, I thought that uh, Jefferson was going to be more C.D. Lamb than what he is, the best receiver in the league. And when I went into the draft process in 2020 with too narrow of a scope, I wanted to replace Stephon Diggs, and I thought that Jalen Rieger did have that explosiveness uh, to be able to replace number 14. But... Yeah, it's okay being wrong. And now the Vikings have uh, both the fourth and the fifth receiver taken in that draft. But I mean, Jalen Rieger at, at TCU was a bad man. Uh, five foot eleven, two hundred six, former four star recruit out of Wokeshire. Nailed it, Texas, uh, North uh, Dallas Metro Burb, class of 2017. Son of former NFL defensive ta tackle Monty Rieger, uh, great for the Broncos back in the day. Uh, he was recruited by Oklahoma. Uh, he was actually committed to Oklahoma. He was recruited by Texas, Nebraska, besides, say, local in Fort Worth with the Horn Frogs. Uh, this is the second TCU guy that uh, the Vikings have traded for in the last two days. Ross Blacklock, former uh, Horn Frogs defensive tackle, coming along, uh, along as well. He was Big 12 freshman of the year 2017, uh, 33 catches, 576 yards of season eight touchdowns sophomore year boom monster uh, 72 catches for 1061 yards nine touchdowns also ran uh, for uh, 170 yards and two touchdowns we'll, we'll get more into that in a sec also he's a bad dude returning kicks and punts uh, career 17.8 uh, yards per kick return uh, uh, career 24.2 yards per punt return at TCU combine wise strong 17 bench reps uh, very explosive uh, very fast as well agility <laughs> Yeah, a little bit of a DK Metcalf uh, RAS uh, number going on. But either way, fast, can get after it. There you go. And here is his draft uh, profile from Lanzerland, NFL.com. Draft projection, uh, rounds one to two. Uh, NFL comparison, Curtis Samuel. Now, they misspelled Debo Samuel, which... Hmm. Overview. Spotty quarterback play helped cause a drop in production for his junior year, but his focus and competitiveness also seem spotty at times. Eh. Uh, Rieger is a smooth athlete with blazing speed who has more playmaking talent than receiver skill, and play callers need to account for that when determining how to utilize him. He's electric with the ball in his hands as long as he catches it. Uh, so getting it to him quickly rather than him asking to consistently make plays for himself as a ball winner could be crucial. Uh, when 2019 is balanced against his 2018, the grade and projection uh, begin to climb uh, with a versatile receiver who's able to spice up the offensive gumbo. Yeah, that's right. I love that bit of prose. Uh, and yes, famously... Famously, famously, uh, Justin Jefferson is the guy uh, who's taken right after Jalen Rieger. So that's a lot of pressure. And I understand pro athletes are pro athletes are pro athletes, uh, and they're supposed to be able to tune everything out. But constantly being prepared, uh, being compared to Jefferson, who's quickly becoming the best receiver of his generation, and constantly being compared to his teammate Devonte Smith, another first round uh, wide receiver that they had to take right after him. I mean, uh, that that can be crushing. And, and of course, famously, that was where Spielman and Zimmer having a good laugh. That was the last time they actually ha had had a laugh. They had a moment uh, when the Eagles took Jalen uh, and Jefferson fell to the Vikings uh, at 21. Uh, but uh, overall, his first two seasons with the Eagles hasn't been great statistically. It's really been marred by a bunch of drops. Uh, he was a phenomenal punt returner uh, in 2020 for the Eagles. A good uh, average per punt. Also took one to the house. Uh, so he does have a lot of punt return experience. I think that's where he slots in right away for the Vikings. Uh, ISM. 
I, I have my worries and concerns about ISM just fielding the punts cleanly. Uh, Jalen can certainly do that as well as he does have some explosive ability. And I, I think that this is the perfect situation for him where he gets away from the glare of the spotlight. He's not going to be constantly compared to Jefferson anymore, even though they're on the same team. He's not going to be compared to Devontae Smith. And of course, we know Eagles fans can be absolutely brutal, man. They, they can be brutal. Uh, but you got Jefferson, you got KJ, you got Thielen, you got ISM. I think that's solid one through four. And then uh, Jalen Rieger can be that wide receiver four or five, uh, as well as return punts right away. No muss, no fuss. Get him the ball a couple times a game uh, in explosive spots. Whew. I think the Vikings got something going on here. So, yes, all the jokes aside, I think it's a good move. I think it's really smart. You're getting a guy who's drafted in the first round two years ago for a seventh and conditional fourth that's way down the line. Yes, I think the upside is certainly there. I think that he... I, I I don't I'm under no illusion that he's going to be a wide receiver one or two anytime soon. But he can he be a uh, contributor? Yes. Can he be a return guy? Yes. And hell, with with Keenan McCardle's uh, coaching and tutelage, who knows what could happen? I mean, KJ went from a failed special teamer and a guy who played zero offensive snaps as a rookie to to uh, KJ Osborne last year with Keenan McCardle in the building. So who, who knows what he can do with Jalen. I'm pretty bullish on his future. I mean, the upside is there. The Vikings basically got him for a song. So, yeah. Yeah, Kwesi does it again. But your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, Vikings trade for Philadelphia Eagles wide receiver Jalen uh, Rieger. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Most support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.